dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you once again to this special session. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for liking our contents. Thank you for supporting us and thank you for trusting us to bring you interesting news as it is. Welcome back, guys. I'd like to quickly um, crave your indulgence to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your support. All right. One half brother of Peace Square, popularly known as Mr. P, Peter Okoye, has joined Namdekano to describe Nigeria as a zoo. He has thrown his weight and support behind Namdekano from the look of things. Nigeria is a big joke. Popular singer Peter blasts federal government, backs Namdekano. All right, guys. Musician Peter Okoye, popularly known as Mr. P, has joined Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop, to describe Nigeria as a zoo. Nigeria is a big joke, Peter said in a tweet on Thursday. While reacting to the approval of the 27 billion naira for the renovation of the National Assembly complex in Nigeria, which was built in 1999 at a cost of nearly 35.18 million dollars, he said the National Assembly that was built with 13.6 billion naira but would be renovated with 27 billion naira. These people have no shame. How can shameless people have shame in this country? Instead, they keep increasing in their shamelessness. 27 billion naira? This country is a big joke. 27 billion naira? How many of you wish you were not born in this country right now because of our failed leaders? Well, it is what it is. This is what has made Namdekano, you know, a part of what has made Namdekano to call Nigeria a zoo. I said these people are, Nigeria is a zoo and there is no leadership in the country. Now popular singer Peter Okoye, Mr. P, has come out to say this country is a big joke as he backs Namdekano. How can the National Assembly, you know, how can the National Assembly want to renovate the National Assembly complex with 27 billion naira, a complex that was built with only 13 billion naira. So, what kind of shameless leaders do we have? A lot of things are actually going on that we cannot, um, how do I put it now? We cannot wrap our minds around. We cannot even see what is the challenge here. How can you say 27 billion naira? How? It is really, really sad and unfortunate if you'd ask me. 27 billion naira is too much money for uh, the National Assembly to renovate the National Assembly with. What are they renovating? Are they overhauling the place? Are they rebuilding from scratch the foundation? Are they buying lands? You know, these are questions that we really need to ask ourselves because from the look of things, it does not seem like that money is meant for uh, renovation at well as it were so because are they they're fine even if they are going to repaint the whole national assembly change the chairs as it were is it that bad is it that dilapidated is it is the national assembly that uh worse that they are requiring 27 billion naira to actually uh, refurbish it or renovate a little wonder you see that the National Assembly had to pass the loan bill or the loan request of Mr. President so that they, uh, their own money you know, can be approved and which the President has actually approved. So it is probably, it could probably be safe to actually see it that it was uh, a give and take between the executive and the legislature, between the Mr. President and the members of the National Assembly. I give you this, you give me this. I give you this, you give me this. 
and that is how it has been working in the presidency and even in the Nigerian politics. It's a give and take thing. Nobody, you know, does anything for free. It is truly sad and really, really unfortunate how things have actually turned out this way. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but guys, this is really, really sad and unfortunate. If other musicians can join voices and raise voices to speak out and speak up, I think Nigeria would uh, be a better place as, than it is today. Because I stand to be corrected. Nigerian politicians are really, really dealing or battering the image of Nigeria, both internally and outside the country. 27 billion naira for what? To renovate the National Assembly? Where people are going to bed hungry, where people don't have jobs, where some people are being laid off as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. You know, when the president is saying that there is no money to, in, to, to import food, and you can give 27 billion naira to the National Assembly to renovate the National Assembly complex. So something is wrong somewhere. How do these guys reason? How do they come to such conclusion? It beats my imagination, I must confess. I don't know. Could it be? Could there be something that we are actually not being uh, informed of? Could there be something we are not privy to? Because I am finding it difficult to understand why the National Assembly, you know, will be re renovated with twenty-seven billion naira. To me, it doesn't make sense. To me, it doesn't um, speak well. To me, I can't seem to phantom the understanding. If you build a house with thirteen billion naira and you are, you are now renovating it is are you transforming it into um, a house in banana island or something it's an office complex for god's sake even asuro so i i stand to be corrected so i think if we have other uh, popular musicians stars you know celebrities who will speak up just the way mr p is speaking up and backing them the kind of the way he has decided to, I think it will go a long way to help in this country. Because our leaders are not, they don't seem to be interested in any development that would, you know, be people oriented. For me, I see them as plain selfish. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I stand to be corrected, but it's really, really sad and shameful if you ask me. One would shouldn't expect that the, the country, in a situation where you know they're asking for debt relief, in a situation where they are asking for, uh, they, they are finding it difficult to actually run the economy, in a situation whereby they are slashing budgets, then you are giving the National Assembly 27 billion naira to renovate the complex in this critical time, where some people are not even sure of what they would eat. Where some businesses have actually packed up, some are crumbling, some are battling for survival. It is really, really sad and appalling. So I don't think that, I, I think it cannot be untraced to the fact that they had an agreement with the presidency. You give me this, you approve this loan for me. Then I also, you know, give you your 27 billion naira to renovate your complex. This is how politicians loot Nigerians' money and nobody asks them questions. Nobody takes them to the court. Nobody, you know, asks questions or say anything about it because they know they can easily and always will probably go scot-free with it. I wish there are people that can stand up like Mr. P, you know, and can take these guys to the cleaners. This is the, the, the future of the country. This is the future of the country that is being trampled upon. If you can invest this amount of money in education, invest them in the healthcare, invest this such in, in power, then we would have better, you know, uh, better living conditions in this country than we actually have right now. That is just so much huge a money for the National Assembly to squander on uh, renovation. What kind of renovation are they carrying out that will cost 27 billion naira? How did they arrive at that is the question. Well, guys, it beats my imagination. That is all I can say. 
kindly drop out the comment section let us know what your thoughts are please don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate you god bless you and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now